Right, welcome back. Another Dropping Crystal Peak. We just cheesed the Crystal Guardian. Some stinky cheese. We're going to go back through here now that we have some stanky stanky. So we got some doing to do. Everything here is so painful. Wow, we just passed right by that. Unlocked it and then never came and got it. So we got the shopkeeper's key. That's how you get those guys. I gotta use a stinky boo boo. Yeah, I can get these guys with it too. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Ooh. That's less cool. But yeah, remember when I was like, I thought you could kill the crystal dudes. The only way you can kill those crystal -y laser guys is with the stinky defender's crust. Because it has a tick damage to any enemy that's within its tick damage range. Like, there's no immunity to it. So even, like, enemies you traditionally couldn't kill, that's the point of the Stinky Defender Crest. Because then you get the, uh, lore for... Or not the lore. You get the Hunter's Tablet. The mark of the hunter. Ooh. They're so easy to kill when you have the Defender Crest. It's like the game developers were telling you that uh, the way to beat Crystal Guardian is to just stand real close to him with the Stinky Crest. Even these big boys. Which I love. I think they're so cute. They're like gigantic roly polies. But I guess roly polies in the bug world are pretty big. Even to other bugs. We need to go all the way up before we go down because we never did that. And <clears throat> there's some stuff up here. We might as well look at. We're here. We already talked to Quint. Oh, that's right, I need to be able to... I did it just like that, though. That's why I never went up there before. So you need the monarch wings. Or to be able to jump off that guy's pickaxe like I did that first shot. But I'm not good at that. Well, he's not a great pickaxe jumper. But that's cool. We can go back to where we were going. Keep that in mind. You need the monarch wings. I think that's why I went for the monarch wings in the first place, because the first pale ore to get to, you need the monarch wings.
little extra mask juice. And then these guys don't respond until you... The little laser dudes. They don't respond until you get... Until you get a bench. And they're even worth money. There might be another way to... Ooh. Die. My goodness. I'm just trying to build some health really quick. Oh, I got some essence from that guy. Need lots of gym essence. See, it's much nicer being able to go through here in a way where you can just slowly kill those laser you guys. Whee. Well, that guy was not as easy to get. Okay. hell because we're down to a mask she's not ideal Somewhere around here, there's supposed to be a spot. Aha. I made it through there. Ooh, this is pretty. It's all pink and purple. And there's diamond and crystal crunchies everywhere. I don't know. Oh, it would hurt though to walk around in here. Deep focus. This charm does. <clears throat> Naturally formed within a crystal over a long period. Draws in soul from the surrounding air. The bearer will focus soul at a slower rate, but the healing effect will double. So you can heal two masks at once, but it takes, takes twice as long. So in other words, it takes the same amount of time to heal two masks as it would to heal two masks without it. But it is a charm, and it does add to our charm count. We're buying charms from our lady. <laughs> oh, 
Only one mask left. Heal up on this guy really quick. Give this a quick pause over here. Okay. I guess it's all healed up and full masky juice. <clears throat> so we're actually off to a better start than we were when we started our start. It's really not hard to get through here. You just gotta have depth perception, and I don't have depth perception. <laughs> there we go. And now we have this. I was like, why didn't I have this? I'm pretty sure I went this way, but I never actually went this way. I went right up into that room with the guy that I was chopping, and then I came back down. But now we have the lift, which gives us quick access back over there. And we have Mr. Sly's key, and Mr. Sly is here, and boom, new bench. And we can go back up in here. And for just a second until I get more lawn or more notches. I'm gonna pop on Grub Song. And we're going to pop on Gathering Swarm. Because then I'm already happy to get people, like, close to people with my poo smoke. And as long as I keep my poo smell smoke next to people, then I don't need the long nail as much. But it really does help me with platforming. And the Grub Song gives me soul when I hurt myself. What do you have there? Why? That's the key to my storeroom. I thought I'd lost it for good. Hmm, did you find it in those old mines, perhaps? Very curious. I've had no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me, yes. Very kind. And now that I can open my old storeroom up, I can sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust there. These items may be a little time-worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. So we definitely want the elegant key. Sprint master is not bad to grab either really fast. I'll come back for the other ones. I gotta make sure I have enough to get notches from homegrown. I don't remember how much the current ones are. Salubra, the big caterpillar worm girl. She's so pretty. This is why I don't like the making it gooey path yet. Because to get to her with gooey path, you have to like go all the way across like the left and down and over. But with non gooey path, you can just come to Forgotten Crossroads and drop down. I'm already not used to the different range of having a short nail. But we'll get there. I think it's the length of my cloud, yeah. It's the exact length of my cloud. So if they're inside my cloud, I can cut them. So we're going to run down here, we're going to get the notch that we can get from her because I believe we have enough 
notches left. Or enough money, enough charms to unlock the notch, and enough money to buy the notch. Yeah, 900. Expensive. No, at least it's 232. We couldn't have bought anything there. Clever. That lets us put on one more at one cost charm. As long as the back end, he probably wouldn't be horrible for right now. We also have Sprint Master. I think we'll drop Gathering Swarm. Go back to Long Nail like I wanted to. And we just need the last notch. It should be complete. We're gonna drop long nail anyways, once we get where we're going next. We're going back to the Queen's station. All we have to do is just remember to pick up the Geo for a little tiny bit. Besides where I want to go, I was going to do a little bit of quick money farming. By the time we get where I want to get to the first bench at, we'll probably have to cut this video anyways. Just because I'm doing a short little quick video. I just wanted to grab these couple of things. I've been thinking about them and I don't want to forget. <clears throat> but we still got, we still got 12 minutes. Helps against these guys too. You can stinky slash them. Oops. Wasting soul. Hold up. We're gonna go to Queen's Station. We're going back to Deep Nest, back to the creepy crawly area. Which is why I want the stinky stinky, because that protects us from all those little bugs that come out of the ground. It doesn't really protect us, but it gives us a. Uh... At least some damage ticks in and some damage ticks out, so I don't think it will take quite as many slashes to kill all of them. Since it was taking us a hot minute to get the murder done on those guys. Also gas out these guys, I think, too. If anybody was going to be immune to it, those guys should be immune to it. Yeah, so you can just float kill these dudes. It doesn't give you that much damage. I think it's like one damage per second per tick. Also could have dropped the compass to have Gathering Swarm. Whenever I go to do the farming stuff. Excuse me. Not farming, but uh, looting for monies. I always consider farming like to gain experience and weapons and equipment, not money.
I mean, it's fair to say that you are you are gaining money. Wee. Off to deep nest. I pressed the wrong button. At least they're free money every time you come down here. Just give them the old slicey slicey kadicey slicey. Actually not as helpful as I wanted it to be, but... I guess it was damaging the whole time they were eating me. Yeah, that is much quicker. It's not like that they burrow before I get the chance to kill them. And then I don't, I don't get my money. We go down into the left. I think he doesn't hurt them. That guy's quick. He was running through like Mach 10. Whee! Definitely went the wrong way. Uh, oh yeah, Stinky is working great down here. Between Grub Song and getting hits in, well, we're staying completely full on soul. Maybe it's just don't stop spawning. Ooh. No. Hey. There's a way up over here that I want to go. Thank you kindly. We have a shortcut. We already spent all the time going all through here and we're not going to do it again. Still chilling, my friend? All right. Seven minutes is not enough to get to the weaver's, the weaver's nest, unfortunately. Do a quick money grab. They're so cute. Ninety eight dollars just from these first two guys.
It's a pretty effective farm method, and then you can do this even when you're like weaker. You just dodge them because you see how they don't come in here. And you can get them through the wall. And then it's quiet. You know everything's dead. You come out. You go. Two hundred and one dollars plus the other ninety-eight plus three hundred dollars altogether. Come in here with fragile green, and that'd be six hundred bucks. Do that twice, plus a third, and you got a Luminify Lantern. I wish we had the dream now. I'd set a beacon down here and then. Go buy that other thing. Where are we at? Ah, it wouldn't matter anyways. We could get one more mask. But doesn't really matter. <clears throat> we'll be alright. So just do this one more time, just to kill the timeout, and then I think starting the next stream we'll go get Weaver Song. Maybe the next video, I'm not sure. Which will happen first? And then once we get Weaver Song, it becomes a much easier way to play for my type of play. I play because <clears throat> I like doing like little pot shots and stuff and so having the weavers and the stinkers <laughs> makes it so that they kind of do some damage at least for the time that's in between where I'm getting my pot shots, and then it doesn't take quite as long to get through. But this is just so satisfying. You get to get these guys and just boom. And it doesn't really take that long at all. I mean, I've already done it twice, and it's been what? Two minutes. It takes about a minute, minute and a half. Oh, this guy didn't get in. They can be overwhelming if you let them be. But they're really not too hard to deal with, even not doing them the way you're supposed to. Oops. I did that prematurely. And that puts us right on time. We got a crystal heart. We got another charm notch. notches do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 notches. That's pretty good. I think that's all we can get without doing the Colosseum buying her last one. So there's 8 and then the Colosseum. And then you get one from the other guys. There's one on the ground somewhere I'm missing. 
We'll have to find that too. Oh, we did forget to do that first, huh? Unfortunate. But, anyways, that does it for this video. Have a good night.